Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. In this section, we are going to discuss about the bar graph. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. We are going to see about the definition for the bar graph followed by the procedure to draw a bar graph. So what is a bar graph? The length of each bar represents the required information in your bar graph. And therefore, if you have a long bar, that means that variable has the greater value of data. Therefore, choosing an appropriate scale for the bar graph is very important. It should distinguish how much the bars are different from each other. Scale is nothing but the term that is used to represent the number of one unit length in a bar graph. So here if you see one unit length represents 10 and so henceforth the units will be multiples of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70. So this is how you have to set the scale for a bar graph. Your bar graphs or bar diagrams are used in scenarios where you have to represent the data visually. And in bar graphs or bar diagrams, the bars of equal width are drawn horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them. So if you see, you have the values or the variables with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on. So each are having equal distance in between them horizontally and vertically. Next we are going to see how to draw a bar graph. In a graph paper, you have to draw two lines one in the horizontal direction and another in your vertical direction and both are perpendicular to each other. In the horizontal line you have to mark the information that is given in data like years, months, weeks, days, places etc. So this is how you have to mark the data in the horizontal line and the values are placed in your vertical line. Mapping your horizontal and vertical values you can have to find the data value using your bar graph. So you have to pick a suitable scale to determine the heights of the rectangles or the bars and then you have to mark the heights on the vertical line. You have to draw bars or rectangles of equal width and height marked in the above step on your horizontal axis with equal spacing between them. So here if you see in this bar graph you have a set of data which is represented for the years 2011, 12, 13 and 14 and the values that your data can take ranges between 10, 20, 30 and 40. So you have to represent your bar in such a way that there are three values over here within 2011 and it has the value less than 10 
greater than 10 and less than 20. So this is how you have to mark your bar graph within the scale limit. Thank you so much for joining GTEC. Hope you would have studied about the bar graph. Thank you.